IBM Cognos Analytics with Watson Mobile leverages your existing Cognos Analytics content investment, delivering a mobile experience with minimal administrative effort and no development. In this video, you'll see how to add a dashboard to a board, how to share a board with other mobile users, and what actions a mobile administrator can take. On the Content tab, I can see all the folders available to me. These are the same folders I would see in Cognos Analytics. Clicking on a folder, I see the dashboards and explorations within the folder. After tapping a dashboard in the Content tab, I see a deconstructed view of each widget in the visualization. I can tap a tile and see the visualization. I can tap the pin and choose which board it gets pinned to. I can share boards with other users, roles, and groups. To share a board, I start in the Board tab and tap the board I want to share. This opens the board and I tap the ellipse and tap Manage Viewers. Tapping Add Viewers, the Add Viewers screen opens. Here I can select the users, roles, and groups from Cognos Analytics the board will be shared with. Now any changes to the board will be automatically shared with the viewers. The underlying Cognos security governance is always at play. If the viewer's user ID does not have access to certain data in Cognos Analytics, they will not see that data in the mobile visualization. A mobile administrator can control the access of users to mobile, set the intervals the Cognos Analytics database is pulled for new alerts, determine what intervals users can set and create a default interval, enable or disable a user's ability to schedule notifications, enable or disable a user's ability to see dashboards or explorations in mobile, and set how long users stay logged into Cognos Analytics for up to 30 days. This concludes the video introducing you to managing the mobile environment. Documentation for IBM Cognos Analytics with Watson is available online. The video description below contains links for topics covered in this video. If you would like to try what was demonstrated in this video, you will find the data in the samples folder in Team Content.